Yeah, I'm trying to get an early start today, people, and this phone is obviously crap. But it's frost, that's crystallisation. You can see there, chunks of ice. I went and wiped the windscreen, there's chunks of blasted ice. My gosh, it says three degrees in this thing. Doesn't actually feel that bad. But uh, the car reckons it's three degrees, and there's ice along the top of the door. All along the chrome work there. Blimey. Welcome to winter, eh? Yeah, only peoples. I have been a bit concerned that the wood hot water system shower pump will be a bit too far uh, from the batteries that run my house. It's actually more than 15 metres away. Uh, it's reliable, it's going to run out to 18 metres or something. Uh, so a little bit worried about the car and draw. Now, my father has a tractor battery that's not too bad, not too good either. It's not 100%. Um, and I'm going to be able to use that uh, coupled with this. And, yeah, it's in the boot. Um, but I've got a charge controller that's actually just a regulator and uh, only $30 and very basic. Um, almost like the regulator off the back of an alternator, uh, but it does have lights that tell you when it is connected to the battery and charging and another one that comes on when the battery's full. Um, but I've got this little thing and I've been doing a bit of um, short circuit current tests uh, with the multimeter there. Uh, I only sort of getting uh, the sun turned to absolute baloney and I'm sort of I was supposed to get 1.24 amps uh, short circuit but the clouds are over and all this and I'm getting like 0 0.5, 0 0.6 it's not that great um, but I'll see how it is tomorrow morning but I think it's it's probably going to do what it's rated at considering the way it's sort of you know the sun's going down and the clouds are over and that um, stupid idiots look at this they, got it. they do this to some of them that little junction box here and the whole lot's all set in basically you know rubberized silicon epoxy thing um, but the stupid idiots in the process of putting it on they've obviously been a bit rough with it and haven't set the wires down and you can't oh, you might be able to see it now blasted shredded the wire open so that's no good for outside use until I put some silicon over that uh, which is just bloody stupidity really uh, typical Chinese rush job. Uh, still got plastic wrap I've got to get off it too. But this isn't your normal solar panel and as you probably noticed, you know, a little lemon. This reminds me of the tarps and that. Um, this is what's known as semi-flexible. Now you can bend this thing. I think it likes being bent that way more. No, it's going to stuff it. No, it's not. He was actually doing this in the shop with it, showing me. And, uh, yeah. Of course, it's obviously still working after he'd done that in the shop, otherwise it wouldn't be getting any short circuit current coming through. Um, but, yeah, it's basically like aluminium. I've seen these around, and I never had the chance to get one, and I did today. But it's not cheap. Like, it's 100 bucks. That works out like 5 bucks a watt. But of course, a lot of solar panels, are, they're all made in, well, a hat full of German-made ones, but most of them are made in China here. And like everything in Australia, we get ripped off something chronic, um, you know, and sort of a dollar a watt is <laughs> what you get when some drug addict stole panels off somebody else. Um, but it's a thin layer of aluminium, and the rest of it is just plastic, and it's all just set in that plastic. So anyway, I'll see how the um, short circuit current goes tomorrow if we get nice bright sunlight and then she may be put into use. Hey peoples. You all know what this is. We've got a little uh, ashtray holder here underneath. And a little sheet metal cover on the back. i just put another hole in the top here um, for the sacrificial anode 
There's the bolts that are on the side um, for when the cover goes round. I've got the expansion foam today. I've got a lot of stuff today, actually. Um, and surprise, surprise, I've heard of some people having real troubles getting these. Um, the right one for the right hot water system. I said I wanted one and they just walked straight out with this one. Didn't even ask me what kind of hot water system I had. And I said, can you get something to fit the top? And we've got what's known as a socket, which is basically like a bit of pipe with a thread inside um, that'll fit straight into that one's thread. And that becomes your magnesium sacrificial anode. And, uh, yeah. So we won't experience any more rusting inside this. Um, I like the fact it's sort of large, you know. I don't want to have to mix uh, cold water with it and whatnot. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you that. I've got to get on and build that blooming ashtray, but um, that'll be a tomorrow job.